Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and we're going to do a little eight inch bloom here. I didn't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to show you the colors as I go. Um, I am going to use one of the brand new Vivid Intense Fluid Acrylics in this bloom. And I did finally get a chance to mix them up. So I'll show you those colors in a future video, probably tomorrow. Um, and so you can see them. So Color Art has a brand new set of fluid acrylics out and they're called vivid intense so they're not sparkly they're regular fluid acrylics much like you would see with golden or something like that and so what i did is i mixed them up in my bloom recipe um so i use a ton of fluid acrylics so i'm super excited so this is apple cider that is a prism pour color um so what i had in my head um i've done it's been a long time since i've done one um, but kind of doing some neutral tones, um, cause I had some colors mixed up and I wanted to use the new nickel Azo gold vivid intense, which is this color. So super pretty. All I did was just mix it into my bloom recipe, added enough drops until I got the desired color I wanted. Super easy. Um, so these are going to be great for blooms. This is Prussian blue from golden. I just wanted to put a little bit of blue in here um, to add some contrast. And um, I wanted to use some, <clears throat> excuse me, some primary elements I've had mixed up for a while. Unfortunately, um, I had to stir them really good so they were full of bubbles. So there will be a couple bubbles in this painting. But anyway, uh, and I'm sorry, my spinner's messy. So that's citrine druzy, which is a primary element. It's a super beautiful, like topaz y color. And um, so, in the past, when I've kind of done this color palette I had in my head, I would mix like interference gold from Color Art with interference red sparkle. And I loved the shift of like the gold and the red. Well, um, this next, oh, wait, that's a fire opal. It's a blingit color and it looks a lot more muted just because sometimes micas have like a waxy coating on them um, but it dries clear so it's going to dry a lot more like like a reddish copper color anyway this color right here amber wing has like a pink shift to it like a pinkish red shift to it so i thought that would be really cool and i hadn't mixed up any of the interference gold and red mixture that i like to use and so I was like, this should accomplish that same thing in my head. So that's Aspen Leaf. And Aspen Leaf is one of the newer colors in the Autumn Moon set. And when I saw Aspen Leaf, when I mixed it up, I thought that would be pretty in that particular color scheme. So that's what where my inspiration came from. So anyway, um, and then I'm going to top that off with a little bit of a little bit more Prussian blue, and we're going to do a white cell activator. And um, this bloom actually turns out really pretty. I did kind of a crappy job blowing it out, but you know, whatever. That's part of the learning process. But it's actually going to be really beautiful, especially under resin, when you can see all of that color shifting together. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, and I really wanted to show you the whole set of colors first before I showed you a bloom with the color in it. But I only had like a tiny window of time yesterday. So instead of mixing up the whole set, I mixed up one of the colors, used it real quick, and then I mixed up the other colors later. So that's my reason behind doing that. Also, today's video was supposed to be a geode collaboration with Sherry, but my piece isn't finished yet. It needs another flood coat. So I didn't want to not publish a video over the weekend. So I decided a quickie bloom would be would be good. So uh, I'm using titanium white from M. Graham is my cell activator mixed with Aussie Floetrol. And I do have a discount code for Australian Floetrol from Pixel Paint Designs. You can save 10% using Mandy 10. And you can save 20% off of Color Art using Mandy 1120. Um, that percentage off may be changing to 15% in the near future, but the code will not change. So um, make sure and and look at the discount links in the description box below. Now, I've sped this up a wee bit, but I'm trying to do better at blowing out and pulling my head back at the right place to kind of enlarge 
the width of my blow. Um, I really need to practice turning my face sideways. Um, I find sometimes when I do that, that I like subconsciously twist, twist my mouth instead of, um, like I'm actually doing a pretty decent job right now, but I, <laughs> when I've done that in the past, I've actually like narrowed my blow and I was trying to figure out why. And I realized I narrow my, my breath a little. So I definitely need more practice with that. Um, but I'm trying. We're getting there, I think. The colors in this are actually super pretty. You can see I kind of messed it up right there. But I do think the colors are really, really beautiful. Sorry, my head keeps getting in your way. Not much I can do about that, but still sorry. So all I'm trying to do now is catch the little bit of cell activator that might be on the very edge to try to blow out those places where I didn't do a good job blowing. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes I make a bigger problem. Um, but yeah, I was still pretty happy with this little guy. Under resin, you're going to see what I mean. You'll see it a little bit in the close-up, but you'll really see it under resin. You'll be like, oh, that's what she was talking about. Uh, anyway, in other news, um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I embossed it. But look at that nickel azo gold. Look at it just peeking through there. So pretty. Nickel azo gold is like one of the ugliest colors you'll ever see. But when you use it in stuff, it just works. And it looks so pretty with other colors. Like the very first time I saw it, I thought it was metallic, like a normal gold. Like I thought it was just kind of orangey or coppery. And when I bought it, I was like, this isn't gold. This is like tan. And then I couldn't understand how it made things so pretty. And then the first time I used it, I was like, huh, this is like a weird, ugly color that just happens to happens to work really well in everything. And it seems to so sort of match everything. Super weird. Super weird. Anyway. All I'm doing now is just extending out a little bit of those places before we spin it all the way out. And a couple of the places that have funky edges, I'm just kind of swirling those a little bit just in case they don't spin all the way off. I don't want them to look like skinny fingers, you know. So and then we'll spin her out. I had just uh, put a top coat on a geode, so this was all the acrylic stuff I got to do yesterday. Um, it's all there was time for. Plus, got to do homework, right? Adulting is hard, but you got to you got to do the things. My camera sure is blurring up. I hope it's not going to stay like that. I figured out why. I had like 82 applications open on my phone and I'm doing this voiceover in the car. So, not even using Wi-Fi, so when you have 84 applications open, it causes a problem. Look how crazy this little bloom is. It's kind of cute, huh? So just pop in a couple crazy bubbles, give it one more spin. But do you see what I mean about nickel azo gold? It just, it just works, you know? It's a weird color, but it's, it's kind of magical in a weird color kind of a way. I don't know. It's still spinning funny. Hopefully it doesn't look like this in the in the finished video. In case you hear me making all these comments and it doesn't look weird, as I edit this video, it looks like it's freezing. I hope it doesn't really look like that when it's finished. So I'm going to bring you down for a close-up shortly, and uh, I'll share the resin results when I finally get around to resining it with you guys, so you can see what I mean. I think it's going to be pretty. Pop a couple bubbles here. More than a couple, apparently. I even whacked the little paint containers on the counter to try to get rid of some of the bubbles before I started painting. 
which is a trick, by the way. You can whack them. <laughs> and somebody almost ran into me with their car. You can whack them on the counter and it'll get rid of the bubbles. But not necessarily all of them unless you give it a really good whack. And that's kind of annoying for everyone else in the house to hear you banging on the counter. All right, so I'm happy with this guy. Here comes the close-up. All right, so here is our close-up. Unfortunately, there will be some bubbles, but the colors are magnificent together. Look at how beautiful that nickel azo gold is. I love the way Amber Wing provides kind of a pinky red shift. So does obviously the, um, I'm having a brain fart, uh, fire opal. Goodness. I like how the Prussian blue gives us some contrast, especially in the middle here. Look at that. So unfortunately we do have bubbles because I stirred up some really old mixes, but um, really beautiful colors together. I kind of want to try similar colors with um, maybe a bronze cell activator. Anyway, let me know what you think. This one was a quickie and I will be mixing up um, the vivid intents for you so you can see them this is what the little bottle looks like whoa whoa so cool so you'll see those but anyway thanks for watching um super excited to see how they work so far this is a great indication of how beautiful they'll be in our blooms anyway appreciate you guys take care